Okay. So um, my thing on um, self-forgiveness, I think it's a big one. It's easier to forgive other people. All right, you ripped me off. You stole my money. You cheated on me. I forgive you. I'll let it go. And that's huge. But forgiving yourself for having been spiritually stupid, often a lot of people find that very hard. From of course the miracles point, it is a self-attack thought. So you're not allowed to attack yourself or others. It's like uh, in 12 steps, you're not allowed to hold any resentment, any justified resentment in your head for any reason. It's poison. There is no justification for resenting yourself or self-attacking yourself or another because it lowers your vibration and uh, you're, you're no longer an instrument of love. So it actually is a thing of the ego to attack yourself and feel guilty relentlessly and wallowing that. So you eventually just keep um, praying as well. You can pray to the Holy Spirit for a miracle to see it differently. But um, the, one of the things that's really, really helped me is Hawkins talking about um, uh, uh, Hawkins' work, which is this, in a nutshell. Um, so uh, who's that Greek philosopher? I forgot Socrates. Yeah, Socrates. So Socrates calibrated at 570, a high saint. And he said... Uh, you can't um, you can't really judge others because they were doing the best that they thought at that time. And that also operates on yourself. You see, the Sabir yesterday uh, is less spiritually evolved, let, let's pretend, than today. It could be the other way around. So the Sabir was actually more spiritually at a lower level of consciousness yesterday. He wasn't able to forgive. Um, and so for me now to judge Sabir yesterday, who, who was less spiritually evolved and doing the best he could, is actually an error. I mean, he was doing the best he could yesterday. So it's uncompassionate for me to have a judgment on the Sabir of yesterday at a lower le level of consciousness because he was doing the best he could. Uh, so to, to think that I was as evolved as I am today compared to yesterday is a spiritual error. He wasn't that evolved yesterday. He was doing the best he could, and he made errors yesterday, which he wouldn't today. So it's 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 not my remit to judge Sabir of yesterday or when he was five years old or whatever. And I found that to be, you know, and, it, and there's also, if you look at Hawkins' work, the influences both unconscious and energetically at each age are enormous. I just don't have the capacity to judge Sabir in the past. Um, it's best just to treat him like a different individual, which I do, uh, at a different level of consciousness. And to forgive him is not really me. Today, the me that's at this level is different to the Sabir yesterday. So uh, there is no, and uh, not, and you know, not to judge what happened in the past because that person is not me. Um, and so that really, really helps me. Or the other thing, you can use the course lessons. Um, all attack thoughts, doesn't matter towards others or, or myself, are, uh, are um, of the ego. And so let them all go equally. Or 12 steps to hold any resentment against others or self is poison. And it's not, uh, and is, one is avoiding one's function as an instrument of light in this world and love by indulging. It's an actually an ego indulgence to indulge in guilt and self-attack thoughts. You know, to forgive yourself, let the feelings run through and pass by is the is the way to go, um, in my view. Okay, so let's click on stop, stop recording.